all right chat so today i want to actually revisit guilty gear strive's rank system so the tower system we saw of guilty gear strive is it good is it bad what's good what's bad and uh, overall just give my overall opinions on it now there's been some time i did this i believe within the first month of the game but i just want to revisit this and actually get my thoughts on it now so guilty gear strives rank system so as we all know by now there is one through ten floors and of course after the 10th floor there's a celestial floor you have to win a certain amount of games in order to advance to the next floor when you start i believe you start on floor five you beat the first person you fight which is the cpu then you actually start at floor six i believe is how it works and of course you like go up and down depending on how good you do so that is pretty much the system and it's supposed to be able to keep players from actually bullying lower level players so if you're you know a beginner to the game and you're just really bad at the game then somehow you're supposed to like you know you're supposed to stay down here and you're supposed to work your way up to the system now i believe the system actually works very well for i want to say the seven through first floors the first through seven floors i think the system works pretty well once you get to the uh, eighth to celestial is where things start to get a little bit iffy as far as how the system works now pretty much what i'm talking about here is it all has to do with Celestial Floor. Celestial, once you get to Celestial Ops, you cannot lose it. You do the challenge, which we'll talk about the challenge in a little bit. You do the challenge, and then you get the actual uh, VIP reward, which means you can't lose it. So once you get up here, you can pretty much just gate peek from other players getting up here. Now, every month, this actually changes. And if you didn't meet a certain requirement, you actually go back down to 10, uh, Floor 10. So now, if you're a Celestial ranked player, which means, you know, you're this skill level of player now you have to go down to the 10th floor every month and fight people who are between the 10th and 9th floor of skill level right so you're fighting these people and all of a sudden then they are getting ranked down to nine because they got to fight people that are supposed to be in celestial and then they are beating up the eighth floor players because they're hovering between 10th and celestial trying to do the challenge all day trying to get in there but then they're better than the people that are here so they're beating the people that are going to eight and then they're going to seven. So then you see the trinkle effect now, right? So you have this like little bit of a trinkle effect that happens a little bit, starting with the celestial floor. Now, the problem with the celestial floor is, of course, so many different types of skill levels in there. And there needs to be another floor. A lot of people have been saying this for a long time. Another type of floor, like a celestial above celestial, celestial two or whatever, uh, where you can have like sort of another challenge after you win a certain amount of match. Maybe you can't lose celestial, but after you get celestial there needs to be another floor another like challenge you can do that puts you into like celestial 2 and maybe celestial 2 is something you can lose like you can only be in celestial 2 as long as you keep a certain win percentage maybe something like that maybe you gotta like win like i don't know 50 or 60 percent of your games to stay inside of celestial 2 so this is like the top of top players and like they're going back and forth so they're staying up all day but this floor will have like the players that are pretty good and then there's like the top level floor players because a lot of people are saying uh the skill levels in the celestial is just too drastic as far as changing there's some good players and there's some like not so good players that are like trying to still figure out uh the game and stuff like that but somehow they make it a celestial and the celestial is a little bit finicky because of how the system works now talking about the challenge itself there is the challenge which the challenge is you have to win five games and you can only lose one if you lose two you are out now there's two flaws in the system one if you have a friend already in vip they could just boost you into celestial for the month straight up free because they can't lose it so you beating them will not change anything so if you got a friend already got vip you can boost yourself in celestial uh from your floor 10 very easy to do and i know some people that do it and of course you know it's just something that happens so that's why you get some people in celestial that are just there now can i fault them no because the challenge itself is actually sort of bs and the reason I say is BS is because you can win more matches than your opponent, but still lose the challenge. So give an example of this situation, right? So you have just gotten a Celestial and you have your challenge. You are fighting against a player and you play the first set. A set inside of Guilty Gear Strive and Rank is just three matches. That's it. Not a first to three, just three matches. So you win the set two to one. Congrats. You're doing good so far. Then you play the next set. You are up two. All of a sudden, you lose the last game because it's just three games. Now they kicked you out. So you won both sets to the one, but then they still kicked you out of Celestial, even though you won the sets. It doesn't seem right because you are considered the better player in the set count. However, you are losing the Celestial challenge. 
I think the challenge should be something more along the lines of win three sets in a row or something like that, right? That would be better. Like, win majority of the games of the set. If it says that, like, it says win majority of the games of the set three times, that would be a better challenge because now you can lose two to one, two to one, two to one. You are winning majority of the sets. You are clearly, you know, you are showing that you're the better player. You get access to the VIP. I think it would be a lot better if it was working like that. Of course, along the lines of just having the extra Celestia Floor 2, this will even the level of players out as well. So the top players that just want to play uh, the other top players of the game and just have like, you know, that really strong competition rather than playing inside of the actual Celestia 4 where players are like between like the intermediate to like um, high level. The top players just want to play some really strong players. And of course, they can play each other and stuff like that. So just changing the way the floors work, I think it'll be a good system. Also, I think another thing they could actually do is once you get VIP, I think it'll be pretty cool that they actually just make like a celestial sort of uh, park system. So you can have rematch uh, features inside of the park with celestial players. So you can just go there, play celestial park matches and have infinite rematch. So you don't have to worry about the rank system. And of course, some people probably don't want to use that because there is like a ranking system or it's, it's a couple other ways you could get it. It's like... I believe there's like the rank system as far as like how many games you play or like your rank of the character uh you're like I believe the level of your character can also matter there's a couple ways you can actually get the celestial vip now that people have figured out and of course there's different colors there's the the gold there's the red there's the blue so there's a couple of different colors you could get now and yeah so if you did the park you probably wouldn't get as many points that you need for that but it's just a way for you to have just infinite amount of games and play people that you know are going to be of a certain skill level because when you go to the actual part it's typically i want to say uh between mid to low pl players there for the most part from what i've experienced from the part maybe your experience of the part is different but for what i experienced on the part it's typically between like mid to low pl uh, level players inside the park and typically all the like high the top level players are just in celestial uh mixed up together so you get this like big difference and i think just having a split of the park like that will just make things a little bit better so you know exactly like okay at least i'm gonna be fighting people in celestial inside the park and i can get some infinite rematches so i can play a nice long sec this way so this thing also of course is missing out on another aspect that most rank systems of course have and that's just an actual like i want to say rank system with points right so if you play a regular rank system it has like a more broader span of like pool of players i feel like and i feel like the way this rank system works because it's inside of a lobby it's sort of harder almost to find a particular type of things you're looking for like you really have to hunt down certain characters like if you're struggling against take care of the top here Faust, you know if you want to fight a Faust player because you uh, are struggling against some Faust or maybe some nagos that you see you have to really go inside the lobby and then like sort of find those matchups of course where rank is a lot more uh it's a little bit different but i think the thing that really frustrates me with the actual overall lobby system is because of like this is because you're only locked into a certain amount of players in that pool it's 24 players in a lobby and it makes no sense that there's more cabs than there are spots for people to play i think they should definitely up the cap to at least the amount of cabs that are in the lobby uh the lobby should be able to hold that many amount of people uh if it's going to have that many uh cabs inside there rather than just having like 24 instances per lobby it just makes it to where the pool of players that you could play at one time is very very limited rather than having a real rank system where the pool would just be everybody that's on the game at the time and you can choose your different like sort of um properties as far as like your settings of like how you want to play like if you want to play like only people that have a certain connection or certain region stuff like that you know you can do all your settings like that but because it's only limited to who you see in the lobby it really messes with the actual overall feel of just finding more characters you know if you're in the lobby if it's 24 people in the lobby and the way the system works is like if you back out and if it's not full it just puts you back in the same one you're sort of just stuck right if there's no noggles online in that lobby right there you're sort of just stuck like it's like well i can't find no noggles today even though i want to practice a noggle matchup you know with the amount of like with a extra or regular ranking system you will be able to fight more matchups that you want to see a little bit more because it will sort of spread it out more it will make it to where you have a little bit more broad as far as the people you can play so i want to see something like that where sort of i don't know how they could do it i think maybe the quick match feature does it but i just want to see a little bit more of an experience of where we can connect to the other people that are in different instances of the lobby if they're not going to put them all together at least allow us to play other people inside the lobbies 
through some type of menu system or something to where we can have a little bit more broader experience i think that'll be a great thing for the guilty gear strive tower system and that's the, i think that's the last thing that i really want to say that i think is really missing uh, but overall like i said it's doing some good things it definitely is helping newer players at the game and is keeping them to where they aren't getting bullied by new play or by good players at the game and of course there's the problem with the actual rank system itself as far as the vip and the upper level of power floors or whatever because of the actual weekly or monthly change that happens where everybody gotta go back to 10 this is that trickle down effect so just want to talk about it overall now that it's been happening for a long time now because the celestial challenge is something that of course we all got experience we all have done it we all lost it a few times but of course we still got to get back to the celestial every month anyway chat let me know how you guys feel about the actual ranked tower system inside of guilty Gear strive i definitely want to hear what you guys feel about it uh also for the people on the youtube let me know how you guys feel about the ranked tower system inside of guilty Gear strive do you like it do you think it's good um do, what do you want to see change for the system as far as anything uh do you like anything i have to say about it uh definitely let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel as always if you like anything i have to say drop me a like i really appreciate it and if you want more from me follow me on my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications so your next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see you next time signing out